Hello and welcome everyone. Today's video features the brand new Tier 7 Premium German Light Cruiser Weimar. Weimar is described in game as a light cruiser variant of the cruiser York with a different artillery composition of 12 150mm guns. Although I feel the comparison with the other Tier 7 German Premium München comes a little closer to the mark. Before diving into a complete review of the Weimar, including its strengths and weaknesses, let me first put up the complete captain build I've been refining during testing, and this is the exact build used in this gameplay footage. What might stand out immediately is the inclusion of survivability expert and both the spotting aircraft modification and the captain skill eye in the sky. And I'll explain the reasoning behind this in more detail when examining the main battery's characteristics. Weimar performs her very best at max range, utilizing island cover whenever possible to help protect her very light armor. So using a simple board screenshot here, let's look at the Weimar's armor layout in more detail to understand why you want to be avoiding enemy fire at all costs. Weimar gets an aft and fore end plating of just 16 millimeters, an upper casemate and deck armor both of 25 millimeters and a main belt armor protection of 80 millimeters. Weimar does get a lower aft end armor belt of 51mm which does add some nice additional protection while in a kiting position. Weimar's superstructure gets a mediocre 10mm of armor while both conning towers get 150mm while our main gun turrets get a frontal plate of 80mm, a side plating of 35 and two sections of sloped top plating, 32 millimeters at the front, but only 20 millimeters at the back. And this also includes the rear plating of just 20 millimeters. Weimar's biggest weakness is these two sections of aft and fore end plating of 16 millimeters, making it vulnerable to overmatch mechanics from every battleship you will encounter even including the Scharnhorst. Even tier 9 heavy cruisers like Drake, Alaska can overmatch these areas, so extreme caution is required at all times, and even more so when up tiered. Being so lightly armoured you will take damage regardless, but I found the almost extra 10% hit points provided by survivability expert helped a great deal boosting the base hit points from 32,000 to 35,150. I've already lost count of games where I finished with 1 or 2,000 hit points, where normally I would have been long dead and back in port. Especially late on in games, I found the DPM of the Weimar quite ferocious, with adrenaline rush kicking in, and in particular combined with the Gunther Lutchen's captain. Speaking of DPM, we come to the Weimar's main battery of 12 150mm guns in four triple mounted gun turrets, equally divided with two fore and two aft with a reload speed of 8 seconds and a max firing range of 14 kilometers, which can be extended to 18.2 kilometers with the spotter plane consumable. These turrets have an 180 degree turning time of just under 20 seconds and a max dispersion of 121 meters, capable of firing both high explosive and armor piercing rounds. The high explosive rounds, despite having the high armor penetration of 38 millimeters, normally associated with German high explosive, they do feel a little underwhelming in terms of max damage, which is just 1700. But the fire chance is solid at 10% when utilizing both signal flags and pyrotechnician. 
The armor piercing is however excellent, with high damage with a max of 3900, solid penetration angles and fast shell speeds of 960 meters per second, which is the same for both shell types. So there is no adjustment required in leading the target when you happen to be swapping out shell types. Pymar is an excellent fire starter, being capable of showering a target with so many shells per salvo. But do not underestimate its armor piercing, which should be used liberally on any cruiser or battleship that exposes their broadside. The only limitation on these guns I found was the base range of 14 kilometers. The spotter plane is useful, but on its own it has an extremely long cooldown of almost four minutes. Hence the combination of eye in the sky and the spotting aircraft upgrade to allow for far more frequent usage. And despite the reduced duration, Weimar has the capability to put large numbers of shells downrange in short bursts. So this really does help increase her effectiveness. Weimar also comes armed with some spicy secondary armament for a light cruiser. Eight 105mm guns in four twin mounted turrets with a fast reload time of 3 seconds with a max damage of 1200 and capable of penetrating 26mm of armour firing HE rounds with a 7% chance of setting the target on fire with a max firing range of 6.6 kilometers and a fast shell speed of 900 meters per second. Not that I would advise playing Weimar as a brawling cruiser, but in 1v1 duels and late game close quarter engagements, she can be quite deadly at close range. Weimar also comes armed with some impressive torpedo armament for those close range fights. Four triple mounted torpedo launchers, two on both port and starboard sides, with a very fast reload time of 68 seconds, with a max damage of 13,700 and a max firing range of 6 kilometers. And these torpedoes have a detectability range of 1.3 kilometers. Normally very effective in late game situations or when using islands for ambush attacks. When it comes to torpedo defense, Weimar gets a torpedo protection damage reduction of 10% and access to the improved German hydroacoustic search, which can detect torpedoes at 3.75 kilometers and enemy ships at 5.5 kilometers. When it comes to AE defense, Weimar gets an in-game rating of 55, having 50 AA guns at her disposal, ranging from 20mm right up to 105mm. All combined they can pump out a continuous average damage of 189, but the vast majority of this is short range at just 2km. Weimar can however fire 4 shell explosions flak salvo, each capable of a max damage of 1330, with a max firing range of 5.2 kilometers. Being so lightly armored, Weimar is vulnerable to all sorts of attack aircraft, so again caution is required in the presence of enemy aircraft carriers, so I would avoid getting isolated if at all possible. So if and when that carrier comes for you, it's wise to relocate quickly. Weimar does come with some decent speed to do so when required. A base speed of 31 knots, which can be increased to 32.6 knots when mounting the Sierra Mike signal flag, and even further to 37.5 knots in straight line speed when activating the engine boost consumable which has a very nice duration of almost 4 minutes. Weimar gets a turning circle radius of 650 meters and a rudder shift time of 8.8 .8 seconds. 
Now you can reduce the rudder shift even further to 7 seconds when mounting the steering gears upgrade, but I have found that the propulsion mod works really well when sitting at range or quickly reducing and picking up speed to help avoid incoming fire. Finally, stats wise, Vimar gets a concealment rating of 61, meaning you will be surface detected at 11.5 kilometers and by enemy aircraft at 5.1 kilometers. Vimar would not be what I would call a stealthy cruiser, so expect to be spotted a lot and always be prepared for incoming fire. Weimar definitely falls into the glass cannon category and will prove to be a wild short ride for many. Just like any other light cruiser, it's quite easy to get deleted in the Weimar and it does require good situational awareness at all times. Never be afraid to disengage and relocate as Weimar's gunpower is very good and strong enough to overwhelm many an unsuspecting opponent. Personally, I've enjoyed playing the Weimar, especially during testing, as early on it had even a better reload speed and more range, but I must admit it did feel brokenly overpowered. After quite a long balancing period, it endured several changes to both its reload and range, and I must admit it still does feel pretty good. The guns are fun. It has a nice mix of consumables and the trick is staying alive. And if you're fortunate enough to have the Gunther Lutchen's captain, it can be a real blast. Now, does it bring something new to the game? Well, not exactly. But the German cruisers are very popular in general. So I expect the Weimar to be quite popular as well. If you're a fan of the Königsberg, the Nuremberg or the München style of gameplay, then the Weimar could be for you. The Weimar will be available in the premium store and the cheapest option in the armory will be for 8,800 doubloons. So as always, I hope I was able to provide you some useful information on the Weimar and what it's capable of. If you liked the video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button below. It really helps me out a lot. And if you have any questions or would like to watch some live Weimar gameplay, feel free to come on over and visit me on Twitch. You can see the link here on screen and also find it in the video description below. I look forward to seeing you all. I'd like to thank you once again all for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more. Take a moment to check out some of my most recent videos and leave a comment below. And until the next time, keep sailing it like you stole it.